my. I. I can't feel anything. feel like a million bucks. And yeah, I kind of do. Think, Slade, think. What's the mission, soldier? Okay, don't panic. Jumping dimensions is supposed to fry half of your brain. seem to be too badly hurt. I don't know, I hope they'll be able to... Nay, Lepta! Whoa! <laughs> Easy now. I come in peace. I assume. You... You speak Aga Kamon? Yeah, I was trained to speak 14 languages, but I've never heard of it. <clears throat> All right, I speak Aga Kamon, sure. Yeah. Take off your shirt. Say again? Show me the Zokrum amulet. Look, you got me confused with someone else. I travel from another dimension, and... Uh, how can I put this simply? You are human? Yes. Good. You're way ahead of me, because I don't know what species you are. The Ulukai should know about Talans. So who are you? The name's Slade. The Ender is Slade. Back finger monster, or by the yods, I'll make a trophy out of your deformed hand. Okay, no handshakes. I meant it as a friendly gesture. Listen, that word you just said, it's like... Echoing in my head. Finger monster. <laughs> no, the other one. U Ulukai? I have a feeling we were supposed to meet. The prophecy mentions a human savior returning the Zokrum amulet. 
You don't seem to know anything about that. Yeah, well, my memory took a momentary hike. What happened with that ship I saw? Invaders have enslaved the Talans and are threatening the land of my ancestors. Without the guidance of the Ulukai, Adalfa is doomed. So we're on Adalfa, huh? Impressive. And it definitely rings a bell. I am Liaz, leader of the Dolotai Guardians. The invaders have just abducted one of my people. If the Yods are on your side, you'll save her. I need proof that you are the Ulukai. I can't remember my mission briefing, so... Fine. Lead the way, Liaz. There's no time to waste. My Dolotai guardians have tracked the enemy ship. The invaders have taken the prisoner into their outpost ahead. May the yacht guide your fist, human. This fist? You're not even gonna lend me your spear? I shall not influence the trial. That's... just peachy. Please tell me that these invaders are just gonna throw coconuts at me. Reverting bolts of fire shot at lightning speed. Is that what coconuts are? Yeah. Uh, not exactly. All right, let's find this Dalotai guardian. They say exercise is good for the brain anyway. These bots got what was coming to them. Wonder if the Dolotai Guardians took him out. Not a living thing here. I wonder what these invaders look like. It's all.
this door. This gear is more advanced than anything I've seen before. Try shooting me now. Looks like some kind of terminal. Huh. The shield device is reacting to it. Alpha 32, we registered an explosion on the thermal grid. Requesting status. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. It can't be. Alpha 32, report. Commander, are you under attack? Report. Humans. The invaders of my people. Good luck explaining that little detail to Liaz. I guess you won't be needing this anymore, pal. See if the scanner is working. X-ray vision. How cool is that? Looks like some kind of terminal. Huh. The shield device is reacting to it. It, 
lady, I had this. You didn't have to sacrifice yourself. WFA. That's the army. I... Why do I have the feeling that I'm playing for the wrong team? WFA is using droids now. in our main facilities. Their babbling is like nails on a chalkboard. They're hiding something. Find out what it is. And bring me another prisoner. your guardian friend wasn't so lucky. She took out a lot of invaders before I could get to her. Her sacrifice makes us proud. Bless her essence. And bless the Ulokai. The trial is a success. You have proven that you are protected by the yachts.
Why are we stopping here? I need a portal to my dimension. I, I got a daughter, and... I also have a daughter, and I don't want her to suffer. The Yods need you to deal with the monsters that are oppressing the Talans. Listen, I gotta tell you something about these monsters you're up against. I know all about them. They're more poisonous than the Nekar Plague. We should exterminate them all. Oh, come on. That's a bit excessive. There must be some good people among them. None deserve mercy. Not after what they did to my people. But forgive my anger, Ulakai. You wanted to tell me something. Uh... Memory blank again. <laughs> yes, uh, home. Uh, how can I get back to my dimension? Only the Almael can answer that question. But Kizar is a forbidden island. Oh, that kind of place. Which way? The island is covered by a massive Hylidium shield. We call it the Spear. Nothing can penetrate it. So is the will of the Yods. Your Yods could make this easy for me, huh? Maybe there is a way. The children of Kizar are suffering from a mysterious disease. And the Almayal is calling Shamazes to heal them. Uh, do I look like one of these Shamazes? No. However, you could convince one to introduce you to the Almayal. But they're going to make you work for it. Well, how about you introduce me? I scratch your back, you scratch mine kind of thing. I won't scratch you, Ulukai. Besides, Dolatai guardians are not welcome in Kizar anymore. So, where do I start? Emiya is the closest village. Ask for Shema's Nemet. Gotcha. Oh, you know, you should wear this device so we can keep in touch. Comlink synchronizing. Synchronization complete. But what about the invaders? Uh, you leave these unidentified monsters to me. Mia. Let's find Shamaz Nemet. Sorry to bother, but uh, I'm looking for the Shemaz of this place. Katagizai, Yad's Almighty. You speak perfect Akakaman, the lost language of Kazar's false prophecy. Who are you? <laughs> I'm glad you can understand me. The name's Cutter Slade. You might have heard of the Ulukai. Ulukai? <laughs> I am sorry. This is a strange moment. I haven't spoken Akakaman in many moons. I am Mehmet, Shamaz of Emiya. Nice to meet you. Listen, Leah sent me. You gotta help me out. I don't think I can but speak, and I will listen. 
Listen, I know this is gonna sound crazy, but your gods, I mean, yods, brought me to your dimension for a reason. I need to know what that reason is so I can return to my family. Long story short, I gotta speak with the Almael. Only Shamazes can be invited to Kizar outside of Vokestop. And I am a Shamaz. Amazing. Go pack your lunchbox then. We leave in ten. Hmm. I have felt the call of the Almael. The children of Kizar are sick and they need healing. But what can a Shamaz do? The path to Kizar is long and fought with invaders. You might survive, but a Shamaz would surely revert. Look, we can kill two birds with one stone here. Once we get to this Kizar, we can figure out what to do about the kids, too. We. The spear protects the island of Kizar from all intruders. And the Almael doesn't know you. I'm sorry. The Almael won't meet with you. That's exactly why I need you to slip in, talk to the Almael, and figure out how to get me home to see my own kid. Because you're right, this whole thing is about our children, right? Hmm. If one could reactivate the... I believe you call them portals? Is that the right Akakamun bird for Dialkas? Then traveling from Mamiya to Kizar would be just like that. Whoosh. The space of three breaths. But Chief Hatsa won't allow it. The invaders made our Dialkas not work, you know. He doesn't want to anger them more. You may not have any issues with authority, but I do. I can help reactivate your Daoka if it gets us to Kizar. Hmm. Helping you goes against Chief Hatso's command. I could be called a traitor. But the children are my priority, and Talons are a grateful people. We reward heroic deeds. Help us with the Daoka, and I will, how do you say, be a champion of you. Hatso and the Almayal. Is that how you say it? Doesn't sound right. Are you sure we even need a Daoka to travel to Kizar? Maybe you don't, but these old legs do. Retrieve the core that the invaders have stolen, and I will introduce you to the Almayel in Kizar. Take care, Nemet. Slay to Lias. I spoke with the Shamaz of Mia. Nemet, is he willing to help? Yeah, under one condition. That I turn their Daoka back on. You will need to recover its core that was stolen by the invaders. They keep it in a nearby base. You've been there? It's too dangerous for the Talans. Our weapons cannot match their firepower. I can show you where it is located. I'm on it. Thanks, Liaz. Where's the...
There's something wrong with your comm link. I turned it off. You did? What? What are you doing? We took this from them. I'm sure they'd want their relics back. We could use it to parlay. You know we don't have the clearance to do that. I came looking for you. Your father wants to see us at HQ. Maybe this mission isn't only about what he wants, Colonel. Let that sink in for a while. Oh, another vision. Was that the Dao Kakor and is looking for? They're on me! Skip the decorum, sweetheart. Just call me father. Okay. Father. I don't want you on the ground anymore. The situation has escalated. What's happening, General? This footage comes from the black box recovered in one of our damaged drones. Look. A rogue agent? It's impossible. Exactly, Colonel. This is proof the savages are sorcerers. They can get in our minds, mess with our heads. Clearly, it's some kind of alien shapeshifter. Really? Come on, Father. This is getting a little ridiculous. You know what's ridiculous? You're the fleet negotiator, and you still haven't managed to communicate with a single prisoner. Yet you keep assuring me these primates are intelligent. We're taking over their land. Just because they don't welcome us doesn't mean they're stupid. This is General Borum. Send reinforcement convoys to all bases. Do it now. Ran out of 
storage. understand so please do not come back until you receive the paperwork from the lawyer or something. So, this is the place? Behold, the spear. I still have 
have sick children to tend to. The Amayel will see you now. Thanks, Namit. Don't thank me yet, Ulukai. For just one. So you're the mysterious stranger. The Almayel sees you, human. Speak your Aga come on words, and the Almayel shall listen. Uh, I'm confused. Uh, which one of you is the Almayel? I am the Almayel, one luminous being. The ruler of Adelpha, the precious link between Talans and the Yards. I see. I'm only here because I'd like to go back to my dimension. But your Yards? Well, they seem to want something else. I think they're trying to tell me something. Blasphemy! Only the Almayel can hear the voice of the Yards. Why would the Yards address a human? Maybe this Ulukai thing? The odds, they've shown me things, like visions. Oh, and I heard a voice, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm not even sure if it's if that... Lies! Humans, Humans are liars! liars. Leave, Leave this, this sacred, sacred sanctuary, sanctuary at, at once. once! No, wait! The Almayel has spoken. Hold on! Liaz told me that you could answer my questions. Liaz. The sound of that name casts ripples on the perfect surface of Melia. It shall not be spoken in Kizar. All right, look, I meant no disrespect, but I have a message from your yachts, okay? I'm sure you want to hear it. Let's work something out and you can help me get off this rock. Speak now or leave. Do we have a deal? Speak! Okay, so it goes something like this. Nas your cat. I'm a... not... Mm. Nectar? Yards Almighty. You see? <laughs> I told you it was important. Imposter! How dare, dare you mock, mock the Almayel? Look, I'm working on my accent, all right? Listen to me. I have died. Actually died, okay? But I keep waking up in some kind of vortex with this echo. The same words repeating. Nas your cat. No. Nas your cat. Amanor. Now that's more like it. The message speaks. Haggis work. So, so it is true. You, you hear, hear the, the voice of the gods. Hearing was the easy part. Care to translate? Oh. Wait, I think I already know what it means. Save, Save us, us from, from extinction. extinction. How do I... What language am I speaking? The Yards have translated the message. The Almayel sees and hears what is left to comprehend. To save us from extinction, we must protect... Kizar must be protected to save the Talans from extinction. Kizar must procreate to save the Talans from extinction. So, which one is it? The Almayel is... one luminous being. It looks like it takes at least two to disagree. Not my place to debate, but you got your message, so what about our deal? Save us from extinction. And the Yards will send you back to your world. One man against an army? <laughs> Yards can't be serious about this. You two don't strike me as someone who would get their sense of humor, so... Hey, where's she going? Can you talk? The Amael sees you. I thought the spear was already protecting this island. But you seem to think the Yods want it even more protected? How? 
You must understand that this can only be half. Half spoken. Got it. You don't want your sister knowing the details. My lips are sealed. Just lay it on me. This island is built on the largest source of white helidium in all of Adelpha. The Almayel uses it to power the spear, but it's depleting quickly and won't last forever. If they are willing to help, the Dalatai Guardians could find a way to bring more white helidium to the island. Understood. I'll talk to Liaz. If that's what it takes to redeem the Guardians, she'll be all for it. Dalatai Guardians are outcasts. Their outlawed order started our descent into extinction. They are forbidden to enter Kizar. Well, without Liaz, I wouldn't be here talking to you, and the message of the Yachts would be lost forever, so come on. She just wants to see her daughter. Ishana and Liaz share the same fair essence, as did Yan, her former partner, who reverted so many Dalatai Guardians in his foolish attempt at violence. Was it really foolish to sacrifice themselves to save you all? You among all people should appreciate the value of protection. You need to listen to Liaz, because this is how the invaders are winning right now. They divide and rule. Divide and rule? Words of Sankra. And yet the Almayel sees wisdom in them. Wisdom's good. If the message can convince the Dalatai Guardians to protect the spear, the Almayel will half speak in their favor, and Liaz shall be heard. Thank you. Thank you for that bit of mercy. The Almayel has half spoken. It was good talking to you, Almayel. I have to leave now. Walk where the yards can see you. We asked, you read me. Yes, Ulukai. The Dolatai Guardians will help you. How you? I haven't said anything. When you were talking to the Elmael, you left your channel open. I heard everything. After studying the map, I've identified several facilities that are storing copious amounts of white telidium. I can clear the outpost. Can you send your people to collect after me? Sure. But there's a problem. Uh, of course there is. Get me. White telidium can't Daoka could explode and obliterate the area, just like in Talanzar, 15 cycles ago. Hmm. Any safer option? We could use a fisher Talan boat. I can centralize the shipments in the coastal village of Sapa. That will take some coordination, but it can be done. Oh, you think they'll do it? If I'm ever gonna get home, we need to find a way for everyone to contribute. Y'all got no advanced weapons, no vehicles, no protection. There's not much to work with here. Talons are resourceful. I'm sure every village has something to offer. You just have to figure out what exactly. Talk to the chiefs. It shouldn't be too difficult now that you're fluent in our language. What are you talking about? Ulukai, you do realize we're having this discussion in Agazork. Really? Wild. The odds did something to me. I have a feeling they're only getting started. Thanks for the map coordinates, Liaz. Let's do this. Slate out. You have returned. Why do you think procreation is the key to the Yod's message? The Almayel understands the voice of the Yod's, and they want Okastok to be celebrated again. What's Okastok? The festival celebrates the cycle of life. Can't you hear? Earth is silent. Thousands of moons without new life leads to extinction. Complete the circle, follow the will of the Yards, and the message shall become. What do you mean, become? Become what? The message can't be trusted until it brings the first Daraman to the Almayel. The first of many. 
What's a Daramon exactly? A Daramon is a symbol of Talan unity. The festival of Akastok can't happen while the villages of Adelpha remain isolated. Help them. Unite the people behind their leaders. And you shall receive their Daramons in return. I have to go now. For now. The Yods are waiting. in my village too, so I should head back to Emiya now. Speaking of Emiya, you don't have a spare Daramon, do you? I'm gonna need a bunch of them, and frankly, I got no idea where to start. My village is as good a starting point as any if you're on the lookout for Daramons. Emiya has its share of issues like every other place on Adelpha, I'm sure. Help us and I will bless our Daramon myself, or help other villages first, because by the odds, the whole of Adelpha needs help. important can i have a minute wherever you come from they must have taught you how to properly address a chief i am hatsu leader of the ma and who might you be funny one i'm cutter slade not sure if you've heard of me ah yes the ulukai i've been warned about emir is not interested in your story I would offer you a delicious morag on your way out, but supplies are limited. Just give me a minute. What are you afraid of? I was elected supreme in front of the Yards. I am not afraid of anything. Now listen. We already have one useless troublemaker in this village. We don't need another. Who is that? You haven't met Doc yet. He's by the lake. You should visit him and swap your ridiculous stories about saving the planet. Those invaders everyone's worried about. Have you fought them? Why would I? I want to start negotiations with them to ensure Emir's safety. Negotiations? You see what they're doing out there. They'll take your land and enslave you. Don't spit your violence at me. You want us to provoke the invaders. Emir is peaceful. We sell fruit. Nothing more. Listen, Chief Hadzo, the Yod sent me here for a reason. I can help if you let me. Have you ever walked through the charred ruins of the Procreana Library? Scattered in the dirt are the remains of a hundred victims. There are no martyrs in Emir, and no heroes. We don't need any Urukai here. That is why we live. Okay, just how are the negotiations going? I haven't met one that I could have a conversation with so far, but I am committed to making the effort. I believe the invaders have some unfinished business in Dasan. 
I just want to send them a signal that we are willing to collaborate, if it can speed up their departure. Where I come from, they don't like collaborators during a war. War? Would you stop with the violence? There are no warriors here. Now go. Leave me. Drink morag juice in the treetops. I wish I could stay longer, but... You have to go? Good. I'm worried about you. about some troublemaker named Doc? Cosmere's son. Doc is a good Talon. Maybe a little lost, unsure of his essence, like his whole generation. What's wrong with this generation? Let me guess. It's those damn video games. have no essence everyone has an essence they're just not sure which of the four essences are theirs the ceremony is meant to reveal exactly that oh, i was a teenager once it can get pretty confusing they figure it out eventually slay it out hi what is happening here oh my god i can't believe it did the Yod send you to meet with Doc? I wish I knew. The Yods are being a bit vague with me. Who's Doc? I am Doc. Search no more. This is the place. The place? What are you doing here? <sighs> Surely the ambassador of the Yods would know. I'm following my father's quest, of course. I wanted to pick up where Cosmere left off, so I quit my job in the treetops and spent all my Zorkins on a diving suit that doesn't really work. You're joining my quest then? Well, that depends. Um, are you taking no for an answer? Sounds like a yes! Come, much work to be done. As my father used to say, practice makes perfect. Your old man around? Kind of. He reverted at the bottom of this lake. I tried to save him, but I can't swim and almost got reverted myself. I'm so afraid of the water. Sorry to hear that. You should learn to swim and practice makes, you know, perfect. Why would you build your cabin by a lake if you can't swim? The Yods laugh at me because I was denied a proper conversion ceremony. They test me again and again with water, but... There's no way I'm an Aloy to land. I hate water. Father hated it too. But I will have the last laugh. I will achieve my destiny. What destiny would that be? Well, the ancients marked a nearby rock for my father to discover millions of moons later. The engraved stone foretold his only son would find an artifact in a lake. An artifact that would save Amiya from extinction. He tried to claim it for me, but water scares me even more now. Can I have a look at the rock you're talking about? My father showed it to so many people. He even made me memorize it in case it was destroyed. No one believed us. Who trusts prophecies anymore, right? Speaking of prophecies, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the Ulukai. Oh my yods! Of course! My father told me everything about the savior of Adelpha. It's you? That's what Liaz seems to think. I don't remember much of my past. The gods have planned our encounter. I will show you the engravings, Ulukai. Together, we can save Amiya on your way to saving Adelpha. Sure. Who am I to go against that level of enthusiasm? What is this relic you're looking for? That is not exactly clear to me, but Casimir told me it would save my village from the invaders. 
if the engravings are right. So it's a weapon. You're the Ulukai. You tell me. No bother. I trust the Yods in their great design. We must make haste, though. Amiya is in danger, and Hatso, our leader, can't protect us. Show me the engraved stone. Follow me. Here it is. Hold on. What's the matter? You go ahead. I'm not worthy to face my father's hazardous yet. What is this? Don't touch it! It's ancient magic! What the... Chalk? Ulukai? Are you alright? Um, Dak... <laughs> you should come and have a look at this. God's almighty! You touched it! What have you done? Casimir always forbid me to... Oh... Unless the ancients were into childish doodles, I think your dad was having a bit of fun with you. It's all... It's very confusing. When was the last time you came here? I was young and naive. There is no artifact. No adventure. I have ruined my life for a false prophecy. Sometimes memories play tricks on us. You know, we see what we want to see. He lied to me. Filled my head with fairy tales. I am so stupid. I should plan my reversion now. Get it over with! Look, Casimir might have elaborated on his story to make it a bit more entertaining. Kids get easily bored, There's you know. nothing in the lakes. Pretending there is won't honor my father's memory or mine. Wait a minute. Your dad didn't draw everything on this rock. There are ancient symbols here, see? I see what you're doing, but Hatso is right. I have to grow up. Have a look for yourself. See those shapes there? I think I know what they are. An X marks the spot. It's a map of the lakes, and there must be something in that one. We're so close. I can feel it, partner. We are partners. Partners? Hold your horses, Doc. I was happy to help, but I have my own agenda, you know. I am so excited. You have to dive into the lake, Ulukai. You have to save Amiya. Are you even listening to what I just... Meet me at the lake. People will write songs about this day. Let's go!
guess your dad wasn't the nut job people say he was. Here's your artifact. I only wish you could see this. This... It's so... I have no clue what this is. That makes two of us, but hey, it levitates. That's a start. Not sure how we can use this to fight the invaders, but let's find out together. Your destiny weaves into mine, Ulukai. My father would have been proud. The light at the engraved rock. You really think it's your father's spirit? What's a spirit? It's Cosmere's Hazardous. He reverted before he could accomplish his destiny, so his Hazardous lingers here, unable to journey to Palana until we finish what he started. Casimir has to find peace before he reunites with the odds. Did Casimir mention an instruction manual or anything? No. He kept repeating this would help our people. He wanted to convince Hatso. Hatso should see this! Okay. I'm gonna push this thing to Amiya. Thank you, Ulukai. For everything. Why is Amiya in danger? Our leader, Hatso, believes he can negotiate with the invaders and spare our village from their tyranny. But I see through his lies. He's been encouraging young Talans to seek job opportunities up north, but they never come back. I heard the invaders capture them into San and use them for slave labor. Sounds more like trading than negotiating. This won't end well. Wise words, Urukai. But let's not dwell on the bad. Focus on the good, like Father said. A great treasure is awaiting the explorers. Until next time, Doc. I can't wait. <laughs> we gotta push this thing all the way to a meal. <laughs> Just another day at the office. <laughs> Flock of killer birds is just what I need. Okay? I don't take orders from you! Fair enough. Everybody, calm down! This dirty piece of trash smells terrible. Why have you brought this here, stranger? I command you to dump it back where you found it, at once. Hatso, listen to me, Doc. I... We found the relic Casimir was looking for! Of course, you are behind this, you babbling simpleton. This is going to save the village from the invaders! Just like the ancients predicted! Nonsense! Do you want to get us all reverted? What? No! There is nothing to see here. Disperse before the invaders spot our gathering from the sky.
You and your magic treasure are the talk of the town, Doc. I don't like this. I feel their suspicions. I hope the artifact is safe here. There are a lot of people in Mia. You think someone would know what this thing is? No one knows. It's too... Wait, Nemet! He's the oldest Talon in town. He has read many scrolls, even some of the most ancient ones. Maybe he has a clue. Could you please talk to him? I have to stay here and guard the artifact. People are getting too curious, especially Azan. Come see me anytime. Hello, Shamas Nemet. What in the gods? I didn't realize it before, but how did you learn to speak Agasaur so fast? Wait, is that a Shamazar accent I'm hearing? Really? I think the odds did something to me when I delivered their message to the Almael. Oh, I see. Praise them. Be careful, Umatai. Activating the Daokas has caught the invader's attention. Can I ask how old you are? Older than a fresh Haughty, and younger than a Fey Tree. You are the master of being vague. I'm the master of controlling my emotions. Expect anger and rage next time you ask a male to learn that question. Didn't mean to offend you, Nemec. The reason I ask is this thing we dredged up from the lake, it seems really old. Like, ancient. I thought a guy with your experience uh, came across it in a scroll or something. Hmm. I recall no description of such an object. And I've read my fair share of scrolls, both mundane and sensational. The item looks like it's from a pre-Talan era. Where can I find informative scrolls? Maybe Doc can read them to me. Doc wouldn't know where to start. Most treetop inhabitants can't read, except maybe for more who took late classes. Your best chance would be to ask a scholar at the Danon Library. Yeah, I think I lost my library card. Can I borrow yours? Oh, a joke. Was it funny? Forgive me for not laughing. Humor harms the purity of the essence. Where is the Dano Library? Good question. Does it still exist? Was the Dano Library totally destroyed with the bombing of Procreana? Or does just a sliver still remain? You should go and find out. Were all the scholars, uh, reverted to? There must be survivors. I heard the assistant of the head librarian dodged a reversion the day the invaders unleashed their wrath upon Procreana. If he's alive, he must be very, very old. Sounds like I should find him soon, then. Who is he? His name is Kureg. His ears were already shot when I was borrowing scrolls in my young age. I can't imagine the bomb's help is here. He might be the best hope to understand your artifact. He spent his whole life studying old scrolls that are now lost forever. Kureg, huh? I'll try to find him. Thanks, Emmett. I would say good luck, stranger, but you make your own luck. Remember that. Yes, have you heard about this Kureg guy? I was about to call you, Ulukai. I made a strange discovery. And since you have to go to Procreana, I'm activating a Daoka so we can talk face to face. All right. Oh, jumping in the first Daoka now. Let's meet. You made it. How did you turn that on? It's the strangest thing. Remember where my Dolotai got abducted the moon we met? 
I found a Deoka cord that exact location, almost as if someone put it there on purpose. That woman I saw, she must have used the core as a friendly gesture. I think she wants to negotiate with you. Negotiate? Do you know how many talent the invaders have reverted in the last couple of moons alone? I won't fall into their sneaky traps. I don't know what to tell you, Liaz. The Yod send me those visions, and I don't know if I can trust them. Anyway, thanks for the trip. Can you show me where I can find Kureg? The old librarian. You should find him at what's left of the Dano Library. I've only met him once, after the bombing. Good luck talking to him. Wait, why would I need luck? <laughs> You'll see. This place has seen better days. Procreana's master Daoka is the key to our capital, Ulukai. Activate it as fast as you can. My Dolotai guardians have tracked the court to the location I sent to your map. Well, let's hope it's still there. Thanks, Lias. Can I talk to you? Are you returning a scroll? If you're late, it's going to cost you. It's surprising to meet a librarian around these parts. Barbarian? Yods, no! I'm Professor Curing, the librarian. If you want to continue this conversation, the Dana Library accepts donations. Emilia, you and me. Let's go. Why would I go to Palana? What? 
No, listen. Emiya, Morax. Mmm, delicious. Not? Whatever. They need your help with a giant rock of some sort that is at least as old as your ears, pal. Capiche? No, no, no. I don't need more eggs. Too sweet for my teeth. Okay. You coming with me to Emiya now? Yes? Yes! Hallelujah. Let's go. Go? Where to? D don't you get it? The trees, the fruits, Emiya. Do you expect me to walk to him here? My old legs won't allow it. I haven't let Procreana since the Dalka went down. When a Talon reaches my age, every step counts. No Dalka, no Curic. Don't you get it? The trees, the fruits. Do you expect me to walk to him? I don't want to keep you. Move it, Slade. They're coming. Okay, they all want to play.
I supposed to keep an eye on you if you keep sneaking out? My father executed four prisoners today. Four. Just because they won't tell him how to access that damn island. He has no choice. What we need is on that island. I'm the negotiator on this mission, so let me negotiate. We don't have to torture them. I'm with you, but you don't understand. I promised your father that I would take care of you. Well, this is your chance to do it. Cover me while I establish contact. I know you. Look, an artifact was uncovered at the bottom of a lake in Emiya. You may be the only Talan alive to know what it is. I need your help. Can you come to Emiya with me? What's the secret code? A code? Why did I think this would be easy? If you don't know the code, I have nothing to say to you. If you do, speak now. But be aware that there won't be any second chance. A wrong password will seal my lips forever. <sighs> can I get a hint? No, I can't sprint. I'm so old that I can barely walk. But I'll give you a hint. You can find the secret code in an ancient scroll titled The Lost Art of Asking Things Politely. Can you come to Emiya with me, please? Goodbye. Lead the way. Here we are. The relic is right there. Doc. Anything new? Ulukai! You're back! By the yards! This is fascinating! Easy now! <laughs> Relax. The scholar's with me. It can't be! This shouldn't be here! I knew it! Is this thing going to explode? No, it's not mold. These are just plants covering the surface of the egg. Did you say egg? What kind of monster is in there? Mother? It's not a mother. It's a baby. The first born Galenta in thousands of cycles. Oh my god! I'm gonna have a baby! Professor Kurat? Kurat. Remember me? I can't wait to write this in a scroll. I can't wait to study the scroll I wrote. Rayfar's going to be so jealous. Can you tell me more about Galenta? No Talon has ever seen one. The oldest scrolls merely repeat stories found in the ancient temples, and they are quite abstract. I'm so excited to document the whole incubation process. Good. Excitement keeps us young and curious. How long will it take for the egg to hatch? 
The process started as soon as the egg entered our warm temperature, but it's not warm enough for it to proceed. It needs outside help. So what? Should I sit on it for a few weeks? We need to quickly raise its internal temperature. Find some covers, like warm blankets that retain heat. Hurry, or we could lose the Galanta forever. Is that all? We also need z dog sap. It heats up quickly under the sun. The covers and the sap will combine to form a warm cocoon to incubate the egg. I don't want to keep you. Shed that shell already. Hmm. Not sure how this Z-Dog goo can help, but hey, at least I did my part of the job. Someone on this channel, please come in. What the? Who are you? You don't remember? We're not exactly friends, but I could be a valuable ally if you want one. You're with the invaders. Invaders? Guess that's one way to put it. Yes, I'm with the WFA, but I disagree with our general's leadership. And that's supposed to make me instantly trust you. What's your name, soldier? How about I remain anonymous and offer you a much better weapon as a gesture of goodwill? If you're trying to buy me, 
Add a foot massage. My boots are killing me. That's sarcasm you can't fake. Commander Cutter Slade. It's really you. In the flesh. Am I famous or something? Unbelievable. This is a game changer. I... I'll be in touch. Hey, hold on. If you know me, you might know my daughter. Her name's Camilla. Tell her I'm coming home soon. I'm... Sorry. I can't get involved in your family affairs. Find the gear at the coordinates I'm sending you. I deactivated the security system so you can enter the facility. But be quick. I don't know how long it will last. Signing off. Fine, I'll do it. At least tell me how Camilla's doing. Hello? How hard is it to answer a simple question? Why is that plant glowing? Ready for a challenge, Uzakai? I was born ready. Only quoting someone else here, but I'm ready now. For what, exactly? Follow the trail of plants that starts here. It should lead you to a special reward. If you're as skilled as you pretend to be, there will be more pleasant surprises. I will keep my eyes peeled then. Leave your eyes alone. The Daramons at the Almaya. Yards be praised. Leaz told me I'd have a chance to find you here. The Ulukai. I can't believe you're real. We have waited for so long. You didn't travel all that way just to greet me, unless I'm like one of the Beatles in your world, which I totally understand. Beatles? Sounds mysterious. My name is Emerhid, and believe it or not, I happen to be the Dalatai Guardian heading the research group that focuses on Adelpha's ancient mysteries. I guess you've heard about the Essence Shrines? Maybe I did, but my memory ain't... Okay, let's assume I did. So, what about them? What about them? What about them? I, I don't know. I really hoped you'd enlighten us, Ulukai. Well... Sorry to disappoint, then. Let me mark these locations on the map. I believe they're essence shrines. And hopefully you'll help crack their mystery for us. The odds are trying to tell us something, I can feel it. If you come across more of them, please let me know. Chief Hatsur doesn't want me here, so I'm heading back to the Dalatai camp near the Gandar temple. Find me there. Okay, Emerheed. Maybe I'll look into it. <laughs> Maybe. Zakhar didn't tell us you'd be so funny, Ulukai. Of course you'll look into it. Do you know how many Essence Shrines are out there? I have a few documented here. I'm sure you're still a long way from uncovering them all. Alright. See you next time, Emery. It's me again. 
You were saying something earlier. You're going to gather the Daramons that the Almayel requested. It's the official plan, we asked. Listen, I figured that the Daramons are ones in, yes, but if I'm going to seek support in every village, I'd rather use the help of your fellow Telhams to destroy the invaders' bases one by one. But I thought the message from the Yogs was about procreation and protection. Am I missing something? Come on, Lias. If you left Kizar, it's because you know the Almael are disconnected from reality. They don't understand who they're up against. Not like the Dolatai Guardians do. I know. Don't get me wrong. I know Okastok and the Spear are important for your culture, and I respect that. But the priority is to get the invaders off your world so Talans are safe and the Yods can send me home. You're right, Ulokai. I'm sure every village has something to offer in the uprising against the invaders. You just have to figure out what. Yan would be so proud of what we are doing for Adelpha. Trust me, there's only one language the enemy speaks, and we're gonna shout it until their ears are ringing from our attacks. Slate out. On to me. Ulukai, watch out. You're approaching a Gork eruption. Do you see it? A, a what now? You don't get these kind of calls sitting behind a desk, I'm telling you. Gork has been erupting from the depths of Adelpha. It started with the invasion. Jan saw it as some kind of natural defense mechanism triggered by the planet to fight our enemies. But Gork can infect animals and turn them berserk. So please be careful. Okay, I'll put a quirk in that. It's laid out. That must be the essence shrine Leah's told me about.
Congrats, Adelpha. I did it. Looks like I unlocked some ancient mausoleum. Let me try to describe it to you. I see where you are. One of the essence shrines. You're inside it? Yup. Praise the Yods. We knew essence shrines were important, but never found a way to enter them. I can't wait to tell Emerheed about it. it. Looks like the ancients left us a treat. Sweet. There are more essence shrines throughout Adelpha. If you unlock this one, I bet you could unlock them all. Talk to Emerheed at the Dolothai camp if you want to know more. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks, Leas. Slay down. Okay, they all want to play. You're too late. Pull out. You hear me? The general's on his way. I'm not going anywhere. Slate out. Slade? I know you. You're the problem. You can't be real. I... I saw you die. Well, you know the saying. What doesn't kill you, makes you... For 
Marion. Fire! If Emerhe's intel is right, there should be an ancient altar close to your location. Can you find it? Ancient altar. Sure. I'll have a look. Slate out. Chief Hatzo. That's right. I am the chief, and I'm ordering you to move your piece of junk. Could you spare some blankets for the egg? Blankets? You're right, stranger. We need covers to hide that thing from view. You should talk to Zotil and see what he has in stock. Always a pleasure to see you leave. I haven't met yet. I am Cutter Slade, and you are? You don't know. I am Zoptil, the most spectacular weaver in all of Emiya. And most humble. Love the shirt. Where did you get it? Uh, thanks. It's a limited edition. Let me know if you're willing to sell it to me. I know it's not exactly the season, but I'm looking for a blanket. It's got to be thick and warm and large. Really large. Got anything like that? I don't. But if you dream it, I can make it. That's the burden of being a genius. Great. I'll take five large blankets. I'll pick them up later. Not so fast, Urukai. We must discuss colors, patterns, trims. Just choose the ones you like, okay? One more thing, Cutter. To weave your blankets, I need certain materials, and... I can't leave the shop right now. What do you need? If we want these blankets to be extra warm, the fibers of the Kolvar plant would be perfect. It grows close to the hollow tree. Okay? Jeez, can you get a little more specific? How do I find this place? Excuse me, can we adjust the attitude? If you walk west from Emiya, you can't miss it. It's a massive hollow tree. The hollow tree. Get me? Yeah, that's a huge help. Thanks. Any reason you don't want to go? It's not the safest of trees. It's haunted because of the terrible, long-forgotten rituals that took place inside of it. 
And it's also infested with deadly flying Kamenai. Not my scene. All right, I'll get going then. You go, I'll focus on my masterpiece. Put your next delivery on the table over there. As long as the Kovars keep flowing, Zotil will keep sewing. And I still want that shirt. on to me. It's just what I need.
We'll discuss that after our urgent matter. I'll be discreet so the kid doesn't hear us. He's way too anxious around the egg, and I don't want him to freak out. So, what's so urgent? A Galenta mother uses her trunk to eat the parasites that develop on the surface of her egg. This phenomenon seems to occur after the shell reaches a certain temperature and releases a very specific type of too many details. All you have to know is the egg has parasites and we have no trunk to take care of them. So these bubbles are parasites? I see. Pay attention! I said parasites! If we don't do anything, these filthy organisms will breach the egg before it's time. The baby Galanta won't survive a premature birth. So what can we do about it? <laughs> Your tongue is not long enough, but I appreciate the gesture. Tornha. Tornha could help us. Yes. Enough said. Time is of the essence. You can ask Doc where you can find some Tornha, but do not tell him why. The kid already makes me nervous as it is. Do what I say. Now! How many Tornhas do you need? Don't be so cheap. One is not enough. As a matter of fact, too few of them would only slow down the propagation, but not stop it. We need a whole pack of Twanhas to save the egg. Where can I find a Twanha? They don't sell Twanhas in Procreana. Ask around. I don't want to keep you.
Hey, Doc. How's the egg? Look, do you see those strange bubbles on it? I can't figure out what they are. You know where I can buy a Tuan Ha? There are no Tuan Ha's in Amiya. We wouldn't interfere with the sweet smell of the village. That's his orders. You should ask more about that. His network of merchants is larger than mine. But why would you need Tuan Ha's? Is there a problem with the egg? A problem? <laughs> what problem? Ah, it's all good. Trust me. Come see me anytime. Hey there, uh, can we talk? Greetings, stranger. My name is Moore. Have you come to register? Register? For what, exactly? You know what? Forget it. I can tell by your hands you're not capable of working here. You're that Ula guy, are you not? You'd think the odds would bestow you with better hands. Um, what's wrong with them? Too many fingers for you. <laughs> your hands are perfect for sewing tunics and baking grease cakes for the conversion ceremony. Now go. We do real work in the treetops. Do any Tuan Ha merchants? I need to buy some. Then you are up for quite a journey. There are no Tuan Ha's in the meal, or anywhere close to that man. So where can I strike a deal then? Your best chance is the village of Bida. Kartak is breeding exceptional Tuan Ha's there. Heard you can even ride some of them. It sounds quite sick. Kartak from Bida. Understood. Tell Kartak that more sense, you get the best price. Him and me go way back. <laughs> I remember once we had so much land to give her that. Hmm. Scrap what I just said. Don't tell Kotak anything. Don't fish my name wrong. Um, okay. Thanks anyway. Thanks, Moore. See you around. Tell Doc he can come back when he runs out of Zorkins. Or Dignity. Whichever comes first.
Ulukai. I'm sure you didn't call to flatter me, Mia, yeah, so... What do you want? To humbly offer you a token of the Dolotai Guardian's gratitude. I've marked a position on your map. It's a surprise. A mystery prize? You definitely know how to push my buttons, Lias. I can't wait to look this up. Slay down. You're coming with me, plant. a water mill. Ulakai, having trouble activating Beta's master Daoka? We need it up and running as soon as possible. I'm marking a location on your map. You can see the outpost from the village. The core has to be stashed there. Uh, I trust your instincts, Liaz. I'll check it out. Cutter Slade. Good for you. And you are? Oh, I actually didn't understand what you just told me. I'm a merchant. We're supposed to be polite with the clients. Slade is my name. Very nice. I'm Kartak. I raise and sell Twanhas. Moore sent me to buy some Twanhas. That tall sword owes me a brand new Nikog. That's gonna cost you. Look, the animals aren't even for him. I say you throw me your best price, and I'll talk to more about his debt. How about that? You're lucky that the Twanha business is slow. Take him. But don't you dare come back without a Nikon, or you'll get the hot season treatment.
stopped. Return to park. Meals on the house, Twan Haas. That should be a theme park ride.
calls the shots around here? I am Hiram, Chief of Bida. But you got the wrong information, stranger. We don't drink Lampe in shots. Lampe is best served in a pint cold as the Palana snow. Who are you? I'm Cutter Slade. I was told that your village needs help. How are you guys holding up? A cold drink of Lampe smooths away the rough edges. Things could be worse, things could be better. Spoken like a true politician. What's the village of Bida famous for? What planet did you fall from? Lampe, of course. We have pretty decent Tuan Ha's, too. But they don't drive Bida's economy. How come the other villages don't produce Lampe? Our water is exceptional. You can't make Lampe without exceptional water. Are you guys also selling water? Selling water? You mean in, in a moor? Who would be stupid enough to buy bottled water? You got a point there. But don't discard the idea just yet. It's a potential gold mine. Where are the invaders? Outside town, drilling stations. So the village is safe? Hardly. All the drilling brings the Garondars to the surface towards us. Goddamn creatures never used to roam these lands. Good thing that the village is preserved for some reason. You know why? I'm the mouth that sells, not the brain that overthinks what it cannot influence. Mirko tried to explain it to me over a pint of lampe last night. But hey, I don't think at night I party. I'm gonna shut down these drilling stations. Any idea of what they're drilling for? If I had ideas yesterday, they're gone today. That's the magic of lampe at play. I can't get a read on you, Chief. You want me to help your village or what? Yes, please help us end the drilling and end the terror of the Garondars. So we can start shipping land pay everywhere again. What's a Garandar? A devouring beast living below us. I figured that much. Any other details you want to share, Chief? Watch your step. When a Garandar surfaces, bond bars are eaten and talons revert. About bond bars. Look, I am in the process of rejuvenating my essence, and words use energy. Talk to Ozak about Bonbars. He's not called a Bonbar boy because of his Tuan Ha. Later, Chief. Farewell. Chief Heron. Yes? So, seriously. What is Lampe? Lampe is the finest drink in Adolfo. It's the reason I wake up every afternoon. So that makes you an afternoon-only chief? Part-time job? Are you a little wasted right now? No, I am the chief after all. But tonight I will drink and sing. Lampe makes you sing better than the Al Mayel and sleep sounder than a reverted talon. You want some? We have discounts for new customers. Are you a chief or a salesman? My role is to sell more Lampe than I consume. Bida's economy depends on it. I'm looking to acquire a shipment of Lampe. Lampe, good. Can you help me? I don't deal with the Zorkins. I'm the marketing guy. Talk to Marzo if you want to make a purchase. Later, chief. Farewell.
taking it.
kid. Uh, newsflash, I'm not a kid. I'm all grown up. But if you see me as a kid, you probably have a problem with your eyes. Let's test your ears now. The name's Mirko. So, what's my name? Um, Mirko? Bingo! It's just the eyes, then. Now, on with the mandatory speech. Welcome to the brewery. What brings you to Beda? I found this white stone in the drill pits. It's light as a feather, and it emits a familiar glow. What do you think? Oh, wow, yes! Yes! This must be it! Oh, I keep telling people there's white halidium on this continent, but no one believes me. But this is proof. My anti-gravity theory is accurate. You're anti-what now? Gravity is an advanced concept. I could try to teach you, but you wouldn't understand. I know what gravity is. And don't ask me for the formula, though. Forgot everything they taught me in high school. And high school, actually. All right, all right, so... Stay with me, I'm gonna use big words. Garondars live so deep underground that the pressure of the Earth would crush them flat. But they don't get crushed. Why? Because they emit an anti-gravity field. I'm not sure how they generate it, but it has to do with eating these rocks, white halidium. That's what the invaders are drilling for. They want to harness its power. How do you know all that? I read a ton of scrolls. You know, you, you, you said if I helped prove your theory, we'd have the power to fight the invaders. I hope you don't want me to eat this rock. No, although that would be pretty hilarious. This leads me to my other theory, which is... You can train a Garondar to attack invaders instead of Bonbars. Training Garondars. I'm listening. I have conducted experiments with Tvonhas. You know, the one where you hold a haughty in front of them and they start salivating? Pavlov would be proud. Go on. Garondars are no different. If you manage to trigger a reflex, they won't salivate, but they should show up at the precise location of the stimuli. Hold on. Why would I summon a Garondar that wants to eat me? Once trained, you won't have to fight it. I will calibrate the beacon so the Garondar doesn't surface, but comes close enough so that you can benefit from its anti-gravity field in combat. If you train more than one Garondar the same way, it will only make the effect stronger. This might actually work. What do you need to make this happen? I already mapped out everything in a scroll. See? We could use fey fruits to create a vibration, okay? And that vibration will attract a Garondar. The scent of meat, say, Gamor meat, will make its surface. If we shoot white halidium directly into the Garondar's mouth when it surfaces, it's like a reward. <laughs> whoa, whoa, slow down. I'm no pitcher. There's no way I could throw a rock into the mouth of a moving Garondar. But you know how to shoot a gun, right? We just need to manufacture a training beacon that contains the necessary ingredients. Looks like you have everything figured out. I'm in. Take it easy, kid. I'm not a kid, but whatever. Hey, Mirko. Hey, warrior. How goes it? Where can I find fey fruits? They grow on the fey tree southeast of Beda, but I can handle that. Just focus on the two other components. It'll be faster if we split the work, like we're on a team. Cool, right? What do you know about Garandars? Well, there's the obvious. Huge worms. Extremely dangerous, too. But... And the less obvious part, please. They're like me. They're misunderstood. They're not coming to the surface to eat us. They're just trying to get away from the underground drilling. It's hurting their little worm ears. Well, 
a huge worm ears. Actually, I'm not sure how big their ears are. They haven't attacked the village? No, and I found out why. There's a very small life form in our water supply that's toxic to Garon bars, but harmless to you or me. Well, I don't know about you. We should test that later. How did you find that out? Dude, I told you. I'm the only Talan in Bida besides Storga who went to Procreana University. I've got a brain. Stick around and you might learn a thing or two. <laughs> I only like cocky when I'm the smartest guy in the room. Not liking it now. What are the invaders drilling for? Well, I have a theory, but it's too dangerous for me to even go near the drilling stations to confirm it, so, you know, maybe we'll just never know because this village isn't interested in knowledge, it's interested in Lampe. Do you know what Lampe does to your brain? It's like I'm helping my dad brew an anti-knowledge potion. Say I would be interested in verifying your theory. Should I put my ass on the line and go out there? Your ass? What? No! I don't want you to put your ass anywhere. But if you're half as curious as I am, you could look inside one of their drill pits and maybe bring me whatever you find? And why would I do that? My theory, dude. I'm smart. I want to do something with my life, but I can't do much with this broom in my hand. If you help me prove it, I promise you'll have something to use against the invaders. You're a fighter. I can tell. So, what's your theory? I don't want to blow your mind quite yet. If you find anything interesting in the drill pits, I would be thrilled to examine it. It's up to you. Take it easy, kid. I'm not a kid, but whatever. You don't look like you're from around here, so I guess my next word should be welcome to Vida. Name's Marzo. You here to drink our planet renowned lampe? <sighs> Shouldn't drink when I'm on the job. Kicking invader ass takes a bit of focus. Whoa, invader ass, okay. Why'd you come here to kick that? Maybe you want to build your strength first. Heard some bond bars or whatever. Save us from extinction. That's what your yods told me to do. So, I'm guessing that means getting rid of the invaders, one bullet at a time. And that's what I got. Bullets and time. You're here to start a crusade, friend. I won't stop you. Just keep my boy Miracle out of it. He'd be the first one to sign up. Uh, I need him here. Tell me about Mirko. My son. Super smart. But he has to work a little bit more on his enthusiasm for the family business. I need that boy here. He wants to study, but there's no school in Beta. How are you dealing with the invaders? Their damn drilling stations are agitating the Garandars. That's a big problem. Hard to get my shipments when the delivery people keep getting eaten or smashed up. I have to keep up with my delivery schedule, but it's getting harder and harder. What's a bond bar? It's this village's main source of meat, and a near endangered species for those Garandars around. You should talk to Ozak. He's the last bond bar boy left in Beta. All the others are marinating in some Garandar's belly. You don't have much love for the Garandars, huh? You didn't run into any of those goddamn worms on your way here? Damn. Maybe they don't like you. I should hire you to escort my next shipment. Just how dangerous are they? Compared to what? The Nekar Plague? Playing with Puga to run your crotch? They're as dangerous as danger can be, fool. 
Garon dogs are the type of beast you want to keep underground. But those drilling stations make them dizzy, and now they're coming up to the surface eating bonfires, talons, and whatever else they can stuff in their gullets. Can you still brew Lampe without Mirko? Not really. I need his help. Then maybe hire someone else? Someone who would actually enjoy working in the brewery? This is a family business, and Mirko is my only son. My. So long, stranger. Hi there. Got some questions. Yes? See you around. Come back anytime. Marzo, what's up? Did you tell my son to go on some kind of adventure? Whoa, hold on. Mirko just went to collect some fruit. We're working on something. Some fruit? He's my son. And more importantly, my assistant. Not your goddamn assistant, mine. He's supposed to be working for me. Did he tell you where he was going? I think he mentioned a fey tree. I used to go there when I was young, but things have changed. It's crawling with gamors now. I have to go get him. <laughs> Wait, this is my fault. You stay here, I'll get him back. See you next moon. Anybody there? Hello? It's me, Mirko. It's safe to come down now. Yes! Oh, gods! I owe you one! Wait, watch out when you... Now. Ow! Oh, I think I need a shamas. Let's get you back to the village. Did you get the stuff you came for? Yes. I have enough fey fruits for now. Let's go back to the brewery before my father freaks out.
time, Arso. Mirko came back with fake fruits, which are extremely dangerous. You sure you guys know what you're doing? I'm putting all my trust in your son. He's the brains of the operation. Don't blow up anything, okay? Mirko's no safer in BDA than anywhere else on this planet. You have to let him go so he can follow his own path. And become a recreator in Procreana? Are you insane? The invaders are hunting recreators for sport. There's no way I'm letting my son revert to some stupid dream. He could be a big help to the cause. What cause? My only cause is Lampe, and Mirko is a big help with making Lampe. My. So long, stranger. Hey, Marzo. That's me. What can you tell me about Ozak? Ozak is just a lonesome bomb bar boy. He's got the two classic traits of the bomb bar boy. Handsome and dumb as dirt. Brave, though, to still be out there, wishing the herds. Anyway, me and my boy feel much safer here, running the brewery. See you next moon. Hey there. What can I do for you? What is Lampe? My friend, Lampe is the nectar of the odds. It'll put the groove in your tooth and rise you high to the sky. <laughs> Tastes good, too. Is it strong? Enough to make a mute sing. You should hear here on at night. So, here on, what kind of chief is he? The kind that likes to sing after a few pints. His songs don't get a lot of love, though. He sounds like an agonized twan hop begging for mercy. But he's the chief, so what can you do? Some say his voice is the reason why the Garandas don't surface in the village. But my boy Mirko has a different theory. Can I buy Lampe? I only sell it in barrels. How are you gonna carry it? Um... This isn't a tavern, it's a brewery. First pint is free for tasting purposes, but after that, you have to make a purchase in bulk. I could escort the next convoy. Is it worth the paycheck? Yes, it is. But I pay when you return, if you return. Only then do we drink and discuss the reward. If we don't agree, we drink more until we do. Right. I feel there's a catch, but I'm curious now, so I'm in. You're tough. I like that. I got one batch ready now. Can you help escort it to Sapa? Fella named Zala bought these barrels of Lampe hundreds of cycles ago, but I can't find anyone brave enough to make the delivery. You got me a brave. I'm your man. Okay, perfect then. Are you ready to go?
this? Is it gone? Hey, Marzo. About that convoy. You had one job. Protect the convoy, protect the lamp peg. What the sort happened? The giant worm happened. What am I supposed to do? Have you seen the size of that thing? I don't know what you did, but you managed to attract the Alpha Garandar. It's never been seen around these parts before. Now I gotta start the brewing process from scratch. God damn! I messed up the shipment. I get it. Let me help in some other way. I won't mop the floor or clean the toilets, but... I already got my son doing that. I don't need you messing up his routine. You can help me gather a few ingredients for the next batch. Do that, and we're square. Right. Tell me what you need. Mirko has the list. Talk to him, and he'll give you the details. But bring every ingredient straight to me. He'll probably use it for some science experiment. Hmm. I can't afford that. Bye. So long, stranger. Do that, Mirko. Come here, Mirko. Oh, hey, how are you? I told your dad I'd help with lampe ingredients. You have some kind of list for me? Hmm, let me see. What are we missing? We are running out of Morax. The Tvonha drool levels are pretty low. And we could use more pistols? See you, Mirko. You know where to find me. serious havoc on the drilling stations <laughs> that's awesome hey if you clear all three stations i can send my guy to collect the white illidium he's too scared to travel right now freaking bottom guards are everywhere there must be a way to avoid them i mean some people here have left the village and come back in one piece mm, you have a point even torga was traveling lately he fixed ozak's broken leg right out there in the fields 
That's surprising considering his garondophobia and all. Garondophobia? Funny word. That's not funny. Torko was petrified. Maybe you should talk to him and understand how he overcame it. I would go myself, but my father needs the toilet cleaned ASAP. He's expecting a big buyer, he said. Not sure if I should believe him or not, but hey, he's the Talon of the house, so I clean where he wants me to clean. Yeah, I feel you. Where can I find pistols? You can't miss him. Go to the large root on the hill. You have to open its flowers and catch the pistols inside real quick before they close again. This is new. I have to ask about the Twan Hot rule. Really? It's the sticky stuff that drips from the dumb animal's mouth. Mm, it's more about how to collect it. <laughs> it's not like you have to use your bare hands. Oh, good. You know, for a second there, I thought... <laughs> Use these containers instead. Attach them to the mouth of the Tvonha, and don't come back until it's completely full. Kartak can help you with that. Where can I find Morax? You can only find Morax in the village of Emiya. It's a special fruit. Adds a touch of luxury to an otherwise cheap beverage. Are you gonna manufacture the Garandar Beacon? Uh, no. We need the skills of an expert maker. A recreator. They all got reverted during the Brokoriana attack, but I heard rumors of survivors. Take these plants. If you find a recreator, he'll need the plants to create the beacon. Once you get it, come back to me and we'll figure out a way to train one of those goddamn Garamdars. If only I had some kind of gun to shoot the beacon. It's a big world out there, dude. You'll find something. See you, Mirko. You know where to find me. Slate to Liaz. I'm in Bida, and I got news. Yes, Ulukai? My friend Mirko here came up with a device that can unleash Garandars on our enemies. Very impressive. But Mirko, you say? Never heard of him. Who is he? He's the son of Marzo. Yeah. Smart as a whip. A brewer's son with those kinds of skills. Interesting. Yeah. The, uh, the kid wanted to become a recreator before shit hit the fan. He's pretty good. You should meet him sometime. Yes? How can I help? I need a device to shoot a beacon. Like a slingshot or, I don't know, something. I think I've seen something like this in the Ulukai Museum of Procriana. The Ulukai Museum? Seriously. Go have a look. I have to go now. Lia's out. Hey there. Have you come to Torga for healing? Mirko said you're not suffering from garandophobia anymore. Oh, yeah, it's no. This is old news. Really? What well, made you change your mind? Well, 50% was courage. I feel much braver now. And the other half? Lampy. I found my confidence in a barrel of Lampy. In a pool of Lampy, I should say. <laughs> That's a lot of drinking to find the courage to travel. Oh, yes. Many, many, many drinks. <laughs> I became fully confident, but no longer could walk in a straight line. I stumbled and fell straight into the pool of Lampe left after the Alpha Garandor accident. I climbed out of the pond completely soaked, and then... It happened. What happened? I started to feel like I was floating. I told myself, Torga, you're not floating, you are drunk. Your feet are on the ground, look. So I looked, and I was not on the ground. I was trapped in the anti-gravity field of a Garandar who burst through the ground and was towering above me. Wow, really? How did you survive? I believe that Lampe saved me. Garandars love the smell of bone bars, but hate the smell of Lampe. And that extends to anything or anyone that touches it. Hmm, interesting theory. It's more than a theory. I'm bathing in the pond every moon, and it truly works. No Garandar will come near me. <laughs> I suggest you convince Ozak to try it with a bond bar so you can see I'm right. I have to go.
Howdy, cowboy. Not sure what a cow is, mister, but I know bombars, and I'm a bombar boy. Ozak is my name. Hey, Ozak. I'm Cutter Slade. You want to keep the Garandars away from your bombars? Torga's got a theory so crazy it just might work. I don't do well with theories, mister. I'm a practical to love. Then call it an experiment. Now listen, Garandars are allergic to Lampe, okay? So Torga's been taking Lampe baths to cure his Garandaphobia. Bless you. To cure his Garandaphobia. Bless you again. Ah, uh, Garandaphobia? You know what they say. Third time's a charm. Right. Long story short, the Alpha Garandar vomited up a big pool of the stuff. If you soak your herd in the Lampe, they'll be safer from every killer worm from here to Kizar. You know, that sounds so crazy. It just might work. Ah, uh, that's my line. Hey, should we try this now? Where are the yards? Don't hurt me. No one's hurting you. I'm a friend of the Talans. Ask anyone about Nurkan. They'll tell you I'm just an honest merchant who keeps to himself. Leave my shop, please. It's all I have left. Even my pride is gone. I'm not gonna take your shop. What is wrong with you? I know who you are. You're one of them. Them who? The invaders. You saw invaders who look like me? Like flesh and bone, not metal? After the attack on the city, they came out of their ships to make sure all the recreators were reverted. They weren't just like you. As I hid, I saw them execute dozens of my friends, even my business partner. Please don't hurt me. My memory is Zord. I will forget your face as soon as you leave, I promise. Business partner, what's your business? Oh, I suppose you've never seen a recreator workshop. It's very, very different from this shop. This is my souvenir shop. You talk like someone who has something to hide. No, 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 nothing to hide. Look, I can offer you a good discount. If you leave me alone, you won't find any recreators here. They're all gone. All but one, it seems. You're a recreator, aren't you? 
No! I... Fort! How did you know? <laughs> I worked undercover before. You could use some practice. Don't worry, I'm not with the invaders. I didn't know there were invaders on our side. And I didn't know there were recreators left alive. I can't wait to tell the ass about this. I... I am the last of my kind. All my brothers, they collaborated with the Dolatai Guardians, and they all paid with their lives. I have heard of Lias, but I don't want to make the same mistake, so please... I understand, and I'll keep your identity a secret, I promise. Thank you. I'll do whatever I can to help as long as I'm not exposed. What does a recreator do these days? I'm retired. I sometimes practice my craft on personal projects, but nothing that... No, I'm retired for good. I see. Ah, uh, too bad. Could've used someone with real skills. To do what? Not that I would be able to help or anything, but... Just out of curiosity, I mean. What would you need a recreator for? Forget I even said anything. Enjoy your retirement. Wait! Why? Some people have to fight for the talents, and time is running short. My best recreation days are behind me, but... Actually, I can still create all sorts of things. It's in my essence to do so. Do you have anything specific in mind? I mean, I need plans. I can bring you plans. Thanks, Nerkan. Check this out, Nurkan. A guy in Bida named Mirko gave me this plan. Ah, yes. It looks like... a plan for a Garandar beacon. Intriguing. I could create this for you, but you would have to supply the essential parts. I'll get to it then. Let me see what you got. I've been busy! Liaz. We Dolatai Guardians are blessed with the Fey Essence. This is the way the Yods have chosen for us. What's yours? Uh, my people don't have those sort of things. Everybody has an Essence. Have you been to the Well of Essence? Even if I did, I don't remember it. It feels like a different life now. Think of it as a new beginning. Yeah, I don't overthink things. I'm more an action kind of guy. That's why the Talans need you, Urukai. like the tooth of a massive creature. You heard of the Gorgor? Mar punched its teeth out. Mar offered a tooth to the Ubukai to remember the battle. But there was not enough space in this probe for all the trophies. So the Ubukai left the tooth behind. Punching the Gorgor? <laughs> yeah, I can totally see that. Not. Camilla. I mean, yes. I remember this one. Marion took it on her seventh birthday. I thought I'd lost it forever. The icon was found on the Ulukai's landing site. Ma borrowed it from Zofri, so he could return it to the Ulukai. But Ma forgot, and the Ulukai left the Delta without mentioning it. Can I keep this? No, you can't. It belongs to the Ulukai, and Ma will give it to him whenever he returns. All right, I'll just scan it with the comic. Hey. There's even an auto-edit mode to fix my double chin. 
They keep updating these things. Camilla. I mean, yes. I remember this one. Marion took it on her seventh birthday. I thought I'd lost it forever. The icon was found on the Unukai's landing site. Ma borrowed it from Zofri, so he could return it to the Unukai. But Ma forgot and the... Now that one's original. I could use that. Not a real gun. A toy made by the Ulukai as a present to Mar in case Mar would have children so he could teach them how to fight. But you have no children, right? So can I have it? No. Toy was a present. It belongs to the museum. I'll buy it. Come on. Mar could use extra sorkets for the red. Is it human tradition to sell a present? Of course. As soon as somebody gives me a useless gift, boom, I sell it. All right, then. You can have the toy. Visitors are saying that Tale of the Ulukai is a children's story. They said this toy fooled them because it's not a real gun. More blue Hillidia. Sweet. to meet someone here. What's up? Oh. I hope there's nothing up there. I'm afraid to look. My head's still ringing from the bombs that destroyed our beautiful city of Procriana. Well, you're safe with me. I'm Slade. Cutter Slade. You can call me Rifa. It's a title more than a name. But I've worked all my life to obtain it. What's it mean? The Rifa is the head of the university. Procriana is Adelpha's cradle of knowledge, or what? I remember the dean at my college. He kept calling me a slacker because of a movie he saw. That old scarecrow made me hate school. No offense. Not taken, but are you aware that we don't accept new students? Yeah, I figured as much. Looks like the city took a big hit. After the Dolatar Guardian's ill-fated assault, the invaders struck suddenly. They took no prisoners, and reverted all the recreators they could identify. Most of the survivors abandoned the city after that. How did you survive? I was ready to revert, but the bomb spared me. I became dean of the university after my predecessor was reverted, along with our chief and many of my students who were running to their homes. But my home is where my research is. So I stayed here. You gotta hang with Kureg. You two are cut from the same cloth. Kureg? <laughs> Old and pretentious. We disagree on everything. He's stuck in the past, but I am looking to the future. And what do you see? Science. Progress. Old scrolls won't lead us anywhere. We should write new ones and keep evolving. There is still so much knowledge to be discovered. What are you studying? My predecessor was on the verge of a significant breakthrough, but he got perverted on the moon of the attack. I have tried to pick up where he left off, but... Let me guess. You need more funding? I don't have any Zorkins to spare. No. It's Kulrit. 
that will wrinkle Morag. The bombs not only damaged his ears, but destroyed his reason. He collected my predecessor's notes and won't let me near them unless I pay an insane amount of Zorkins. He has no right. So it is about money. You don't strike me as a guy sitting on a fortune. I could trade the notes for other scrolls, like in any library. But the university has been completely ransacked by thieves. There is not a single scroll left. You're both adults. Have you tried talking to him? Have you? Gurek doesn't understand anything. He knows that my discoveries on Asios would make me famous. So he's blocking me until he comes up with a breakthrough of his own. What has he ever discovered except the mold on his precious scrolls? Asios? Sorry, I'm not from here, and the tourist kiosk was probably blown up with some other parts of this town. You haven't noticed them buzzing around? These little creatures secrete a corrosive acid, and I believe I found a way to control their swarms. Okay. You think you could turn these alien bees into a weapon? Now you got my attention. Asiers can melt anything, even metal. The Dolatai Guardians would have stood a better chance against invaders if they had swarms of Asiers on their side. But I couldn't complete my research in time. What do you need to continue? There are Kalmar bushes planted around the university that temper the Asiers' aggressive behavior. You can always use them to protect yourself from Asiers. If you bring me Asir larvae, I can use my research to breed them here and grow them into strong, domesticated helpers. So they can help me fight? In theory, I can focus their attacks on a specific target, thanks to the pheromones created by their queen. I just need a little more time. Can you show me the queen? I don't have her. They're protected by their swarm. Too dangerous to capture. There has to be a way. I can see you share my vigor for science. I've been working on a theory. If you grab the Pope in the hive, the Queen will chase you. Run back here before the pulp dries out, and I should be able to isolate the Queen at the University. Did you ever get a chance to test your theories? I feel like I'm gonna get stung. Look for the Kalmar bushes, like the ones around the university. In theory, they should protect you from a swarm of lethal asteroids. In theory, there was a time when scholars like you believed the Earth was flat. I don't know about the Earth, but Adelpha is flat. Oh boy. You mentioned larvae. Yes. The more larvae you bring me, the more Asiors I could breed and control. Collect as many larvae as you can in the Asiors territory. Also, if you could get my predecessor's notes off Kurik, they would speed my progress and strengthen the swarm. See you, Rifar. Of course you see me. We both have eyes. Cheers.
You're locked on to me. me. Glutton saved me. Say that again? Procreon is crawling with a little... Uh, what do you call him? Oh, the Psy. They infested the capital after most of the Talans evacuated. Psy just wants a quiet place to live in peace. Well, Psy eat assiers. Did you know that? We don't know much about Psy, even though they're probably the oldest life forms on Adelpha. I guess living in peace also helps them live longer. If they were persecuted, they would fight or revert, just like the rest of us. Okay, sensitive topic. I gotta go now. Slay down.
cars are a real pain in the ouch. Stuff is good stuff. Coming for me.
have anything for me. Talk about a killer queen. Here you go. Queens neither kill nor revert anyone. Look at her. She is gorgeous. I want to improve the swarm, so keep those specimens coming. Such a lovely, lovely queen. I can't wait to stimulate her so she starts producing pheromones. You can't wait. Ugh. Damn it. Now I have this totally messed up image in my mind. What good are the pheromones? I have an idea. Nurikon could create some sort of Asio beacon. He'll know what to do. Let me draw you a basic plan of what I have in mind, and a list of necessary ingredients. Z-Dog Sap, Red Halidium, and those precious Asior Queen pheromones. See you, Rifar. Of course you see me. We both have eyes. Hi, Rifar. Do you have anything for me? One more queen coming up. You really enjoy this, don't you? Sadly, I'm running out of space to keep more Asiyah queens. How about I take this one and you find yourself a new hobby? How can I get the notes? Talk to Kurek. I abandoned the hope of having a reasonable chat with him. Screaming in his ear won't help either. Those notes will facilitate my work. And help me to grow the larvae faster. See you, Rifar. Of course you see me. We both have eyes. Yes. I'm in Procriana. What's your status? Flying to Sapa. My ventilope needs to be patched up. And Shama Zalib owes me. Okay, listen. Rifar can control swarms of domesticated Asiors, and they are nasty. I know. They attacked me more than once. special beacons to guide the swarm, though. Have you talked to Nurkan at the souvenir shop? He sells all kinds of trinkets. I will. Thanks. Slade out. Hi. Do you have anything? How can I find Z-Dog Zap? By slaying the nasty carnivorous creatures we call Z-Dogs. Duh. You won't get their sap without a fight. Sorry, I forgot. But Efar. See you, Efar. Of course you see me. We both have eyes. Can. Have a souvenir! It's free! Here's the plan that Refar gave me. Hmm. Interesting. A plan for an Asir beacon. I could create this for you, but you'd have to bring me the essential parts. I'm on it. Let me see what you got. I've been busy!
Okay, Nurkan needs Asior pheromones to craft his beacons. Can. Have a souvenir! It's free! Could you help me with... beacons? Not really. Recreators used to craft beacons. What's the issue? Beacons are spiritual offerings. They must be recreated using the right components and precise instructions on how to combine them. But they can only be activated when in contact with hazardouses or, say, Hazardous inhabited material. You mean haunted objects? More like sacred? But yes, a good example would be this engraved rock you may have heard of. I think it's located near Emiya. Anyway, it's too big to carry, so kind of useless. Then I'm out of luck. Unless you are a friend of Mar at the Ulakai Museum, which is impossible since Mar has no friends except the Ulakai. And I'm pretty sure that even the tale of their so-called friendship is pretty doubtful. Wait a minute. So Mar can shoot activated beacons? Oh, yards, no. Mar can't shoot anything except maybe his foot. But he is in possession of Oru's weapon. A rudimentary device, but infused with Oru's hazardous since the mighty Gorgor reverted him. Mar has it exhibited in his museum. And I'm pretty sure this was not Oru's purpose in life. I see. Help me craft powerful beacons, and leave their activation to me. Later, Nurkan. Later to you! Hi, Nurkan. A souvenir! It's free! Let me see what you got. I've been busy! Are you a friend of Kurek? Not a friend. No. I know him. He was my teacher of ancient history at the university. A bomb fell close to Kurek when the Dano Library was destroyed. It's a miracle that the old timer survived. But his ears? Shot to Zord. Later, Nur. Later.
Smash on the egg. No! Oh, yacht. I'm ready to revert, but save my baby. Watch out! No! Look, it's hatching. Come on, baby. You can do it. Come on. No. Hang on. Just one last push. Yes! Oh my god, yes! That's my baby! You can do this! Where are you going? Stay here! Come to Mama! Look at that. So happy to be free from its shell. Thanks for your help, Kurek. I did it! I made a major discovery! I heard you have some research on nasty little creatures called Asiors. Don't put them in your soup! Asiors are deadly, you fool! Read my lips. Research. Research, yes! I have highly detailed notes on Asiors from the former reform. Wait. Is the new Refar sending you? Refar, you say? Huh. Never heard the name. It's not a name, it's a title. The head of the University of Procreana. Can I have a look at those notes? Bring me scrolls that belong to the Dano Library. For each scroll, I will exchange one page of Asior's research. But whatever you do, do not share them with Reefer. Of course not. Personal use only. Do you know any recreators? Most recreators have been reverted by the invaders. Their alliance with the Dolatai Guardians is the reason why Procreana is almost abandoned today. A couple of them might have survived. Don't expect them to brag about their craft. Gotta go. Stop saying you are a Dolatai Guardian. I don't believe you. I can try. What can you tell me about Z-Dogs? Stay away from those deadly plants. They grow in moist places like swamps. Aim for their blossom on the top to end them quickly. See you around. Come back anytime. Do you need a Gandali pot? Chief Hatso. That's right. I am the chief, and I'm ordering you to move your piece of junk. 
What's so special about this place? You don't smell it? Emir's delightful fragrance. It's famous throughout Adelpha. This land enchants the senses. We also have the sweet morag fruit and an even sweeter sense of diplomacy, no matter how bitter the circumstances. Morag fruit, they taste good? My citizens eat nothing else. The morag nourishes, moisturizes, purifies our essence. Talans from every corner of Adelpha used to come here and pay many Zorkins for its unique taste. You're making me hungry, Chief. Where can I get some? You can have your fill if you climb to the top of the tree. But don't let Grand Foreman Moore seem stealing one. He's far less accommodating than me. No invaders showing up yet. So far, so good. This thing is a giant target in the sky. We have to get rid of it. Hey, the miracle of birth is a wonderful thing. Show a little optimism. I know us Talans don't see reversion as a horrible thing, and I'll accept mine when it comes. But for now, I pray for the Yards to take this monster away. Anywhere. It's a big world. That's all for now. Bye. It's you again. I'm collecting scrolls for this old librarian, Kuga. He's rebuilding the Dano Library in Procriana. You happen to have any scrolls from there? Uh, yes. Actually, I do have a scroll. Weavers of Legend. Why I'm not in it, Yod only knows. Can I give it back to him? Fine. Here. Cam and I are bad news? Uh, yeah. Hello? If you enter their territory, they swoop down and tear you apart. I could have a Zan escort me, but he stinks of me, and his fashion sense is hideous. Okay, let me get this straight. You want me to risk my life fighting a flock of killer birds to get you the plants you'll turn into a bunch of blankets? This at least gets me a discount, right? I'll give you the blankets for free. Just bring me a few extra plants for the winter. Deal. And consider adding your flamboyant shirt to the deal? No deal, man. It's the only one I have. There's... You and I have met before. Correct. I got a scroll for you. Ah, uh, the quest to rebuild the library starts with a single scroll. As I promised you, here is a page of Asio's research. Now, find more scrolls. I don't want to keep you. You did it, Doc. How does it feel? It's the most important day of my life, Ulukai. 
I'm so excited to finally meet her. Yeah. I remember that feeling. I have a daughter too, you know. The invaders' drones are buzzing around your girl like angry bees. I feared this would happen. Each sting she endures will be a blow to her growth. Can you destroy those drone patrols and keep my daughter safe? Is that a rhetorical question? Do you have any clue how to raise a baby Galenta? I don't need any. I feel it in my essence. A mother always knows what to do with her progeny. Oh boy. My baby needs time with her mother. She needs to eat and grow. How about you go hush-hush on the whole mother-baby thing? I mean, is that even legal around here? It's the will of the gods, Ulukai. Do you want to be the father? Oh, I, I already got a kid. And they sometimes say two is one too many, and I have all that fighting to do. Wouldn't be home much to provide and all. Know what I mean? It's okay, my friend. You did enough, and the Yards are grateful. It only takes one parent to make things right. I will be a good mother. Go be a good father to your own child, my friend. Get in there. Hopefully. Until next time, Doc. I can't wait!
So, got any lampy to spare? If you're buying, I'm selling. Hey, at least no one got hurt. Oh, I got hurt, friend. That was my biggest shipment this cycle, and the damn Alpha Garandar drank it all. Uh, she didn't even drink it. She spit everything out. And that's the saddest part. Bye. So long, stranger. Farewell. Can I have a word? Can you have a word? Uh, to hold in your hand? It's a figure of... <laughs> Forget it. Peace out, Torka. Peace out, peace in. <laughs> peace all around.
Hey, Kartak. You again. Mirko gave me these containers to collect the drool of the Twanhas. It's easy. Look. Ugh. Okay. Hey, Kartak. You again. See you next moon. Mirko, do that. Mirko, come here. Mirko. Oh, hey. How are you? Do you know an old Talan named Kureg? I remember him. He used to work at the Dino Library in Progriana. He's still there. He's got plans to rebuild the Dino Library. But he's missing a lot of scrolls. Oh, wow. Really? I actually have one of his scrolls. Fay Fun Homemade Fireworks Explained. Ooh, the late fees on this must be killer. Can you give this back to him? Don't tell him I took it. See you, Mirko. You know where to find me. And I have met before. Another scroll for you, Kurag. Ah, oh, yes. This one would be the centerpiece of our collection. In return, I give you a page of Asiod's research. Now, there's more scrolls out there, and I'm not getting any younger. Go! Okay. See you later, then. Don't you curse at me!
always loves the seaside. See the coordinates on the map. Thank you. How's the tide today? The what? Well, aren't you a fisherman? We call ourselves Fisher Talans. We fish for Sagnecta. My name is Baram, and you are. Call me Cutter Slade. Good to meet you, Baram. Do you happen to own any scrolls? I used to borrow them from the Dano Library before Procriana was attacked. A rich source of information, but they're rare now. There's this librarian, Kurek. He's rebuilding the library. If you have a library scroll, I should probably return it to him. But of course, here it is. The old Talan and the Signecta. A fishing man. Is fishing Sapa's main thing? Yes, it is. We've been living in isolation since the invasion started, and we fish to survive. Synectus tastes like roasted sword, but we have to do what we have to do. In a way, we have everything we need here, or almost everything. Almost? I heard Junair is missing. Sapa can't survive too long without a tamer. When is the last time you saw Junair? It's been too long. I don't know what he's doing. We need more fishing ventilopes to take over from the ones that are hurt or resting. I used to go fishing with my uncle. Can I see the types of rods you guys are using? What do you mean? Fishing rods? I mean, you must be using them to... Oh, you mean fishing paddles? Nope. Pretty sure paddles are for paddling. I don't know what your uncle taught you about fishing, but you got it all wrong. <laughs> Look, here's how it's done. Okay, they all want to play.
Can you help me? I can try. See you around. Come back anytime. You and I have met before. I am racking up them scrolls. Here. I'm sorry about your hacking cough. Could you please leave? No coughing in the library. Here's your page of Asio's research. I don't want to keep you. spotted me brought the whole battalion huh Master Doko Lakai. Even though the pilgrims are not allowed to use it, it's still a useful way to access the village. Can you raid the outpost I marked on your map? 
is located near you. Raiding outposts is what I do. You can count on me, Elias. Hey there. What can I do for you? See you next moon. Hey there. What can I do for you? Are you the leader of this place? I am Rumbar, chief of Palana. And you are... Wait a minute. Did you just say your name is Rumbar? Son of Tequila Bar. Yes. <laughs> I love you guys. The place is pretty quiet. What are you doing all day? The Darshans are closed. But a few pilgrims like you are still arriving. I listen to their tales and keep track of the Hazardesses they encounter during their long journeys. Hazardesses are like spirits, right? Or souls? Are there a lot of them out there? Unfortunately, yes. I locate the Hazardesses and send my people to guide them back to Palana in the hope our Dowershams will open once again. Have you met any tormented Hazardesses yourself? How can I help the Hazardesses I come across? If a Hazardess is lost, it only takes some Hazardav to guide it to a Darsham or an Essence Shrine. However, some are stuck at a location, and it will take more to solve their life goal. Every case is different, so you will have to find out for yourself. Hazadav. Sounds important. What is it? It's a sacred incense that burns in between worlds. We use it to guide lost Hazardesses to a Darasham, or to an Essence Shrine. Our Master of Ceremonies, Hirax, can make it. So speak to him if you need some. You must be busy. Next time, then. Sorry to disturb you. May I have a word? Turn back, Pilgrim. You came all the way to this yacht's forsaken place for nothing. Woke up on the wrong toes, huh? I just want to talk. You bet your tiny head you want to talk. I'm Herax, Master of Ceremonies. Pilgrims used to line up to hear my sermons. Now, Palana's an empty shell of its former glory. Hazadav. Yeah, sounds familiar. What is it? It's incense with the scent only Hazadesses can smell. Drags them to wherever you have to guide them. So it's bait. Okay. Can I get some? I saw them making it when the Dauka went down. Why attract more Hazadesses to Palana when there's no Darashans to pass through? Can you make some now? You're persistent, huh? I can't make Hazadav without some Meliorats which are sacred flowers found in Kizar. If I had those and some sap from Z-Dogs, then maybe I could whip something up.
This moon will never end. I'm Cutter Slade. Welcome, strong and confident pilgrim. I am Kor, the Shamas of Palana, and keeper of the Kaad Darusham. I'm collecting scrolls for Procreana's librarian, Kurak. He's rebuilding the Dano Library in Procreana. Maybe the one you're reading is one of them. Ah, yes, Kurag. Not the most open-minded fellow. Yes, I borrowed it from the library, actually. Ninety shades of car. Great. Can I give it back to him? Well, the late fees on this must be tremendous. Goodbye, Cor. Until the next moon.
show you. Another shot of straight up wisdom. Back in the library. Fizz is dumb? At well, least thought he was, but he reverted before I could tell him to his face. Whiz dumb. Uh, the only true wisdom is knowing you know nothing. Well, I know a little more than you, but you get the picture. Here's another page of Asio's research. Okay. See you later, then. Don't you curse at me! Essence Shrine. Gotta catch that Essence stuff. This plant shouldn't be far away.
Ripped the heart out of that gork plant. The smell stopped instantly. I guess that's a good sign. That's wonderful. And just in time. The gork eruptions infected Atalan. Chief Hatso had to cage him because of his erratic behavior. You should check on him. Can't say I'm looking forward to it, but I will. Slate out. It's just what I need. has been dumping all their junk here.
for me.
run to your village. I'm too sad to enjoy this moment, but I'll do as you say. Killer birds just.
to go. Yikes. Talons can't travel to or from Desan without activating its master, Daoka. The invaders have hidden its core at the top of the village's main pillar. See if you can reach the outpost I'm marking on your map. Consider it done. It's laid out. But it's not done, is it? It's a confusing figure of speech. I'll give you that. Hey there. I'm Cutter Slade. Who are you? The name's Nadul. I'm the former chief of Desan. Who's the new chief? The invaders. This village is now an occupied state. Anyone who comes here must be stupid or asking to be reverted. Which one are you, stranger? Well, my ex would say stupid. This may sound crazy, but I've been sent by the Yods. I think. The Yods? They have abandoned us. Thanks for your time, Chief. I'm gonna have a look around. Carmelia, brave one. It's okay. I know some people in Desan who are hungry enough to eat in a duel. Are you serious? Hunger shouldn't turn them into cannibals. Relax, it's just a duel. I've eaten worse things. But I like Nadul. You're a weirdo. Stay frosty. In the summer? How? friend always happy to help that'll be all thanks pal
What's up, pal? You must be taking me for somebody else. My name is Braum, not Pal. You're right. I'm being too familiar. The name is Cutter Slade. Cutting what now? Why do you work for the invaders? What choice I got? Don't know how many alien invasions you've got in your neck of the woods, stranger. But this one sucks, okay? Every Talon here is forced to collect the smaller crystals that they can't dig with their monster machines. Try to run, you get reverted. Try to fight, you get reverted. Or worse, made their prisoner for a while until you get reverted. Why are the invaders taking prisoners? Hard to tell. Maybe they want to scare us into working harder. They keep the prisoners alive. I know that. How do you know that? Look, every second I talk to you, I'm not working. And if the drones see me not working, you're gonna talk to my hazardous next time. So, drones are terrorizing Dasan. Sure. You can call it terrorizing. You'd be terrorized too if you saw what they did to my friends. I could shoot a few down if it helps. Be my guest. Those damn drones are shooting at the Talan and the Nom Noms without any discrimination. I don't even know how McCann can still... Okay, enough said. I have to get back to work. See ya. I'm standing right here. Of course you see me. Hey, Braun. Hey, back. I have to go. See you next moon. Got a special delivery for you. Let me see. Nadul, can we talk? <laughs> yes. Yes, so funny. For a slave who is supposed to suffer, you're in a surprisingly good mood. Thanks to you, stranger. Talk to the other villagers. I will collect their feedback, and then, only then, should you come back to me. All right, then. What's the problem with the Nom Noms? Save your questions for the other villagers, stranger. If they start to trust you, perhaps I will trust you as well. But you're their leader. Shouldn't it be working the other way around? Formal leader. 
In the sun, trust is even more precious than food. If you're sent by the odds, prove it by helping us. Bring a little faith back to these forsaken lands. Thanks for your time, Chief. I'm gonna have a look around. Carmelia, brave one. Weaz, you hear me? What is it? The people of Dasan are in trouble. Yes. They're the most isolated village since the Daokas went down. And the invaders are using them to mine the pillars. Their cruelty makes me sick. Well, people here are suspicious of strangers. I need a way to gain their trust. Any ideas? The chief is a good talent. I think the others look up to him. Do what he says, and you should be fine. But he wants me to talk to the other Talans. Then talk to them. I'm sure they report back to him. Desan follows a certain code. You need to play by their rules. All right, I'll try to mingle then. Slate out. Got holes in your pockets? I can fix that for you. Yo! <laughs> okay, that sounded the opposite of cool. I don't have the patience to learn new words today. Sorry, friend. What is it this time? The freaking clones. They shot at the Nom Noms. Some of them are in critical condition. God damn it. <laughs> no disrespect, but Nom Noms are kind of weaklings, aren't they? They're my bread and butter. That's what they are. I don't know if you had a look around, but there is no bread and no butter in Dasan. Soon there won't be any nom noms either. All right, I'll blast any drone I can find then. No! The most urgent thing is to find a way to heal the nom noms. Can you ask around the village for any kind of cure? I can't do it. I owe Zorkins to basically everyone here. Yeah, how can you run a race without drones noticing? They got flight patterns you can work around. But even if there were no drones, I couldn't organize a race. What do you need to set up a Nom Nom race? You can't organize a race without a Shamas and healthy Nom Noms. I'm looking for a guy who used to run races here in Dasan. Did a little gambling on the side. Ring a bell? Depends. Who wants to know? <laughs> well, I do. You do? I don't know you, stranger. Maybe Makan took a long walk off a tall pillar. Maybe he's my second cousin, twice removed. I didn't mention his name. So you are Makan. I didn't say I was. Maybe I only heard of him, just like you did. Stay frosty. In the summer? How? On to me. Easy, Le 
left now. Yay. Hard right coming up. Ooh, left again. Ooh, slow. Now continue straight. Oh boy, what is this one doing? here when my mind's cruising the metaverse and we are happy did you smoke something oh just plants i wouldn't be a good alchemist if i didn't get silly on my own supply i'm drowned what's up what's wrong with the nom noms this time they got shot man talons have shamazes but these poor creatures don't have Zork, so they just die. There must be a cure. Can't you come up with something? No, uh, I wouldn't know where to start. But I heard rumors about a nut job, some kind of beast whisperer who fixes animals. I, I forget which village he's in. Since no one in Dissan's been able to solve this, you might want to try your luck with him. Zanat mentioned him a couple times. Maybe he could tip you off. Should I bring the vet here once I find him? Not sure what a vet is, but no tourist would last more than a moon working those pillars. If you bring me the recipe of a cure and its ingredients, I could certainly whip something up for you. I'll even test it on myself first. I love new experiences. <laughs> Leaving already? get much higher. Okay, they all want to play.
You're good to go. Run as fast as you can. Oh, don't worry about me. I'm fast. I used to be a racer in Desan. I won the Silver Cup at the Nam Nam event back in the moons. All right, champ. I'll see you on the tracks then. Nadul, you're talking to me? I don't see any other Nadul here. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're funny and strange. By strange, I assume you mean mysterious with roguish good looks. No, more like funny in a strange way, which is good. We don't have a lot of fun in this, huh? It's refreshing. The villagers agree, so let's talk. So... What's bugging your nom-noms? Nom-noms are born under the sea with a small amount of levitating gas inside them. As they grow, the gas gland grows, allowing them to rise out of the sea and float into the sky. When they get old, they go up, up, until they disappear into the moons. I read a scroll once explaining how nom-noms process elements from their environment to produce the levitating gas. That's a lot of precise information there, Chief. Are you saying the toxic air in the junkyard is poisoning the nom noms? Yes. The junkyard is killing them slowly. The waste must be cleaned and someone has to get rid of the toxic barrels down there. But it's infested with krakeets, so there's only so much I can do. Why do you care so much about nom noms anyway? Nom noms were part of something that defined the spirit of this village. If you want to know more, go find Makan and ask him.
I can help you with your little recycling issue, but I'll need you to scratch my back too, Chief. Massages were never my thing. You wouldn't like the rugged fingers of a miner on your back, trust me. We'll share whatever treasure we... Yeah, yeah, sure. I'll take a scrap or two, but I mean, can you use your authority to make your people trust me? They need to know we're fighting on the same team. There are many ways for a stranger to become popular in this time. Ask Makan about the non non races. Way to blow off my question, Nadul. I was asking you. Oh, and one more thing. This is very important. Tell Makan that Gamak sent you. Huh? Who is Gamak? I am. I gave you a fake name until I could trust you. The duel is not even a Talon name. It's what you dig out of your ears with your longest nail. You got me going around town talking about ear gunk? This is not over, Chief. Just tell Makan you spoke with Gamak, okay? Say the phrase Kamilia Makan. He'll open up to you. What's up with the Nanoms? Some of them got shut up so badly they can't be used for Zort. Yo damned invaders are so cruel. Why don't they let those poor animals be? Can you patch them up? Me? Are you serious? How would I do that? There's gotta be someone who can fix them, right? Maybe Drawood could come up with some kind of cure. One time, we all got worms eating rotten morax, and Drawood made a cream to rub on our... Whoa, TMI, Nadul. I'll go talk to him. TMI? Is that what you call the worms in your... TMI means too much information. I got it. I'll talk to Draud. So about that scroll you read, the Nom Nom scroll, did that happen to come from the Dano library in Procreano? I'm collecting scrolls for this old librarian, Kureg. <laughs> Guy can't hear a thing. It did come from Procreana, but... Look, I'm only collecting them so good old Kureg can rebuild the library. I borrowed it moons ago. I'm well aware of the late fees, and I can imagine it's not raining Zorkins in Dissan, so I'm not gonna squeeze you, Nadul. Relax. Okay. If you help me clean the junkyard, I'll return part of the scroll. Part of the scroll? Why not the whole scroll? I only have that part left. I ate the other part. That's how hungry we are around here. Oh boy. Okay, I guess that'll do. So long, Nadul. <laughs> it's still funny.
something with that. more than welcome. Duel. This joke isn't funny anymore. It's starting to hurt my reputation. I'm sorry about that, Nadul. Can you give me that scroll? Kureg needs it for his library. Can I keep it a little bit longer? So you can eat the whole thing? No way. All right, then. Here you go. Thanks, Nadul. Are the Nom Noms healing? It's a process, but yes, they can live long, healthy lives as long as the drones don't show up to shoot at them. That's a whole different issue. Thanks for your time, Chief. I'm gonna have a look around. Carmelia, brave one.
professor? I need a power nap. Another scroll, Craig. No, it's not. That's a scroll. Are you blind? Here's your payment. A page of Asiel's research. I don't want to keep you. Souvenir. It's free. Let me see what you got. I've been busy. Kleana, you're still a small hive of talents, but you have revived our hope to restore the buzzy capital of knowledge it once was. This Deruman is our humble contribution to the Talan Greater Union. I will hand it to the Almael on your behalf. Um, no pun intended, of course. Procreana's Daramon belongs with the Almael. I need to go to Kizar.
Kai? Are you there? Yes, Lias. You sound worried. I know you are busy with the Almayel, but the next time you visit Kizar, could you please check on my daughter? Her name is Ishana. I haven't seen her in so many cycles. I miss her. I worry about her. Yeah, of course. I'll find her. I miss her as much as I miss her father, Jan. He reverted during the assault against the invaders. All the male Dolotai did. They were our beloved partners. I'm sorry to hear he's gone. I just wish the Almayel would have trusted his warning instead of chasing the Dolotai guardians out of Kizar. Jan would still be by my side. I'll send your love to her for sure. Thank you, Ulakai. I appreciate what you are doing for me. Don't mention it. Slate out. You have returned. Excuse me, miss. Bless the message. I've been waiting for you. Wait no more. I'm Nefaim, main festival planner for the Akastok Extravaganza. The Amael told me you'd be willing to help. You know, she said you were going to be really weird looking, but I don't know. With some berry blush on your cheeks and some highlights, you might not actually be a lost cause. Uh, thank you? What do I need to know about Okastok? Male and female Talans only come together once per cycle in an amazing festival called Okastok. We skipped the last cycles because of, you know, invaders. So everyone in Adelpha is really excited. Except for me. I'm under a lot of pressure to make this event absolutely perfect. Males and females only come together once a year? That must be quite a celebration. Celebrating a small period of harmony. You know, Milea? Once a cycle, males and females put aside their differences and come together to, you know, do something amazing. What kind of food do you need? The best kind? I can order most of the food myself, but it would be so helpful if you could get the Morags. We need loads of them. You can get them in Amiya. Morags. Okay. Got it. Is there a problem with flowers? If by problem, you mean there are no flowers left, then yes, there is one big problem. Okay, I'm not a gardener, so good luck with that. The spear shrouds Kizar with a veil of endless night. We don't get much moonlight here, and this is precisely what flowers need to grow. So no flowers then? 
It's pity, but as I said before... Yes, flowers, silly. We call them Milioras, and they all mysteriously disappeared, but they can grow back. And if you nourish them with pure water from the sacred fountains, Milioras grow faster than any other plant on Adelpha. All right, Lady Luck. Watering flowers is not the most manly thing for a guy like me to do. I'm sure you could put me and my weapons to better use. What are you talking about? You speak as if flowers were a female hobby? How old are you to refer to such dusty stereotypes? I'm too busy here, mister, and I was told you would help. Not that you would only help with manly tasks, whatever that means. <sighs> the sacred fountains are dirty? Ugh, those filthy beasts, the Makari. I told the children again and again, just because it's the color of morag juice doesn't make it morag juice. Saren forbids the children to drink it, but kids will be kids. I'm no shamas, but I'm pretty sure that's what's causing their stomach aches. What else would it be? These fountains might get their water from one source, right? You know where the source might be? Excellent question. I have no idea. The Omael probably knows where the source is. Kids need music lessons, huh? Not sure if I qualify. I, I played drums once in a heavy metal band in high school. Vicious Slade and the Devil Dorks. I, I wasn't one of the dorks. I, anyway, I, I didn't know how to play drums, really. But we were so loud, no one noticed. Have no fear, message. Saren can do the music lessons. If she gathers enough kids to sit still. Saren's a wonderful teacher, but she's getting a bit old. Chasing kids around all day can get exhausting. Right. I'll talk to her. You don't like the Makari too much. I already told Saren. With Akastok almost here, we can't have any Makari running around. They go crazy when they smell a male Talon around the children. Can you remind her to deal with it? She knows what to do. I'll talk to her. See if I can help. Thank you, message. You can call me Cutter. Why would I do that? Okay, imagine I'm Okastok's bartender. What would I need to refill the bar? The bar? Is that like a male thing? What? No, I... Someone really has to invent the concept of a bar on this planet. Drinks. What do you need to refresh the guests, Nefaim? Something that offers a kick, like lampe. The best lampe is brewed in the village of Bida. Go there and ask for Marzo. I think he's going to be really excited about the return of Augustoc. Him and Saren, they have a long history. I totally see those two together. See you, Nephilim. May the Yods be with you.
Slade, are you there? I hear you loud and clear, mystery man. I deactivated the quantum fence around one of the protective facilities. You should be able